Star Wars Darth Bane Path of Destruction is the ninth event on the Legends novel timeline. This tale takes place during the Old Republic era. It also counts as book one in the Darth Bane trilogy. It takes place 1,003 years before A New Hope. And now for a summary. Dessel. He's a miner on the world of Apatros, and he's had a hard life. When he was young, he was abused by his father and picked on by the other miners. With age came great height and strength, and the bullying a thing of the past. He developed a sixth sense, spawning quick reflexes and a quick glance into the future. Apatros was a sinkhole for Dessel. Debt was the only thing that held him there. He was no friend of the Republic, nor was he an enemy. His opinion on politics of the galaxy was pretty neutral. One night, he was outspoken about his feelings, and during a tense game of Sabak, or Sabak, however you want to say it, with a table of Republic soldiers, the results of the game had taken Dessel's life in an unexpected turn. He's forced to flee Apatros. The only way he could do that was by being secretly smuggled off-world by Sith Academy recruiters. Dessel started out with the Sith as a soldier. Only mere months had passed before he was promoted to sergeant. On the front lines, he did the unexpected. He disobeyed orders, actually punching out his superior officer. He's arrested and escorted to one of the Sith leaders, a member of the Brotherhood of Darkness. Instead of being punished, Dessel is invited to Korriban to be a student at the greatest Sith Academy, and he is reborn as Bane. Bane had some struggles in the Academy, some serious struggles, but actually became the best student. His faith in himself and the dark side was shaken, but he became stronger than ever. He learned so much more about the Sith archives than he did from lessons by instructors. His view of what Sith should be is vastly different than what the Sith had been. A Brotherhood of Darkness was not the nature of the Sith. Passion, strength, power, and victory was part of the Sith mantra, not Brotherhood. In Bane's quest, he adopts the title of Darth Bane. To use the title Darth is frowned upon, and it's not the way of the Brotherhood of Darkness. So in Darth Bane's quest, he is to reform the Sith Order completely. There is an ongoing war on Rusan between the Sith and the Republic. Bane believes it could play a major role in the balance of the Force. This book had a handful of great characters. I'm going to mention only one. Wait, what? Why not Bane? Because I mentioned him pretty heavily in the summary. I don't want to spoil more than I have to. So, Githany. She was an apprentice of the Jedi until she abandoned the Order to join the Sith for selfish reasons. She desperately wants to be the top student in the Sith Academy on Korriban. She's beautiful and she knows it. She uses her stunning looks to manipulate others. Man, that's messed up. She takes a liking to Bane for a while. She helps him when he's at his lowest point. She has traits of an old-fashioned Sith, and she's power-hungry and full of betrayal. Which, Bane kind of likes that. And now for my overall thoughts, this book is outstanding. I like how the Sith had evolved into something different, how they lost sight of who and what they truly were. They became soft, and that was the tipping point. It's as though it's their destiny to fail. Bane's rise to power was an emotional journey. One reason that makes this book so great was the struggle. Bane wasn't some superhuman who was unstoppable, he had weaknesses. The chemistry between our characters was magic. The shift in loyalties was natural. Nothing seemed out of place or unlikely. The characters were true to themselves to the very end. I have to say, this book contains one of the best character arcs yet, and this is only book one of a trilogy. The book was loaded with surprises. I thought that maybe this book would be predictable. It wasn't. At least, not for me. Now, I enjoyed every page. The War of Rusan was handled great. It was a fine backdrop to the main story until it was brought to the forefront in a natural way. Drew Carpation is an amazing writer. I really can't wait to dive into more of his books. So do I recommend that you read Star Wars Darth Bane Path of Destruction? Absolutely. For some reason I always imagined this book, this trilogy, would be mediocre. I was way wrong. So for the rating, I give this book an A+. It was a brilliant tale of how one character changed the destiny of the Sith. Thanks for watching this Star Wars Legends review. Stay tuned because the next review will be Darth Bane Rule of Two.